Michael, uh, like make today a lady bag cake. What we need for this recipe? First of all, we need um, the bake uh, cake. You can use any cake of your choice. I use red velvet cake. Uh, and bake in a 16 centimeter uh, diameter round baking pan. It's about six and a half inch. So this is small cake. If you like uh, to make a cake for larger party, simply use the larger round baking uh, pan uh, or simply sandwich it together as well. Uh, it can work with practically any round um, uh, cakes. Uh, so once we bake our cake, that's what it look like now. And for now, we just set aside because we need to prepare our cake board. With the cake board, what we done is we just simply uh, cut out uh, a shape of a leaf from uh, the um, uh, cake board end. So what we do, just it, uh, I use a square cake board and cut out shape. So once we done that, set aside and roll out a uh, green color of fondant. Make sure it fits in a size basically on your leaf. And what we do is we simply apply small amount of water and attach fondant and trim it after. Once it done, simply set aside. Next step is uh, what we do is we're using a small uh, cake board. This one 16 centimeter, which is six and a half inch. Um, it's exactly the same size as our cake. If you're going for larger cakes, you just simply use a larger cake board, uh, exactly the same as your cake. And uh, take a buttercream or use frosting and uh, simply. Uh, tinted with a red gel food coloring to create a red color. You don't have to do that. If you like, you just leave it as a plain. That's okay. And what we do is uh, simply we just apply a small amount in the middle to attach our cake. Place it on top. And what we do now, we split on half and sandwich again together with buttercream. Next step is to uh, slightly trim it. Use a serrated knife and simply just trim it outer part of the cake. Leave it bottom exactly the same. Once finished uh, trimming, as you can see, we just get rid of all the basically uh, edges to make it more round shape. So what we do is next we apply a buttercream all over cake, just a thin layer. Once finished, apply first layer, place in the freezer for 30 minutes to seal crumbs. One stick from freezer, it will be quite hot. So apply small, another thin layer to make it nice and smooth. The next step is roll out a, a red color fondant and we place on top and trim it. Also, if you like to just use less fondant, you just keep uh, simply a red a buttercream and apply a small uh, pieces of decoration using a small amount of black and white fondant. But we're just using today fondant, so we simply apply on top. Once all smooth, use a large round cookie cutter or cake type of cutter and just uh, making tension on the cake to cut out front. 
or use simply saucer to do exactly something. Also, if you don't want to remove front, that's okay. You just can place uh, to fit a bicycle front from a black fondant. So what we do is once we um, make indention on a cake, we simply uh, carefully remove it. Place it on top of a uh, baking paper because we will just cut out exactly the same thing from the black fondant. So we may make up exactly the same trace or with pencil and simply cut out exactly the same from uh, the uh, baking paper. So now we've got exactly the same front. So we simply place on top of a uh, roll out black fondant and cut out front for the ladybug. Discharge rest of these pieces. got beautiful nice front of the next step is to attach all the decorations use simply small amount of white for the eyes um, re-roll left over of a black fondant and uh, create various patterns on top of ladybug as well as the black pupils and a small amount of leftover red fondant to create lips so we use various cookie cutters to create eyes. This one particular three centimeter for the white fondant for the eyes, and this one two centimeter for, for black fondant for pupils. Everything attached with uh, sugar glue or water. Position cake on your prepared uh, cake board, and what is left over only to create a uh, mouth. So, with a small amount of red fondant and a two uh, different size cookie cutters, first of all we cut out one circle, and what we do is using smaller one, just cut out middle of this uh, circle. Now we finish decorating ladybug cake um, and uh, um, I just want to a little bit closer make sure you're able to have a look on all the various uh, patterns 
and I hope you like this very simple creation of ladybug okay uh, also if you like to make it larger simply use a larger baking uh, pan and a double recipe and uh, simply trim it uh, to exactly the same size as we done with a small size cake okay? and use a larger cake board as well uh, everything will be in the description box thank you very much for your time with me today until next time goodbye